let's examine properties of a wall. As uh, when you select any of your existing wall or when you start to work, you can uh, set some properties. You can define the height of your wall. You can uh, set your base constraint, for example, level 1 or basement, to apply uh, these properties. I uh, can just move my mouse over properties bar on the left, not by clicking ap uh, apply. Of course I can apply, but uh, it takes a little more time. So of course uh, basement must be uh, below top constraint or uh, uh, Revit gives you an error. And uh, for example if you want to start with some offset you can enter value in millimeters. For example here it is or you can enter this here for example like this and top constraint the same thing here it is and for example like this and uh, if this wall will be a room bounding uh, here this is checkbox and uh, if uh, this box is un unchecked your uh, wall will be uh, will not be a bounding of your of your uh, room also you can turn on structural so and the uh, structural tools allow you to work with analytical model it's a simple representation of your architectural uh, objects but now we don't need to do so. Also you can see your uh, dimensions, length, area and volume and uh, enter some tags here, comments, set face. If you start to ch uh, change your location line, your location line will move but a wall stays on the same place. So uh, after placing you can move your wall body by a line or by offset. If you uh, so uh, you need to set your location line before you want to place your wall it's much better. And uh, in Revit we have a lot of different types of wall for example uh, generic and you can create any your wall for example like this then set to another and so on. In the next video we will see how you can create your own type of a wall.